Our empty protection is a five, the basis of it is a five man slide for the will. Okay, so when we get a quarterback in there and we teach them, the first thing we say is we say, okay, look, here's how we do the protections, 50s, 60s, 70s, here's what they are, you know, seven man, one back, you know, seven man, or uh, uh, seven man, two back, or uh, six man protection, one back in the back. We describe what the protection is. When we describe this one, we say, look, guys, this is a five man protection. It's an automatic slide for the will unless you make certain calls to trump that. So what we always tell them in empty protection is, is the will a threat when you get to the line of scrimmage? Now here's the deal. If you don't think he can handle relocating the mic and relocating the call because of, you know, maybe he's a young guy and you just want to slide for the will, that's okay. What happened in New England is, remember, and this is where the, the, the system comes from. Remember, Tom Brady had been in that system now going on 13 years. When I was coaching him, you know, it was 10, 11, 12 year for him. So every year, the empty protection system was evolving, was changing, because he, was, he would come up with different ways to pick some things up, because this guy's a bright guy, and then the coaches would also come up with different ways, so it was evolving. So you're, when you start out, you may just want to stay and slide for the will, or however you decide to do it, that's just your prerogative, okay? This is just some things that we do, okay? So what we do is, when we put this in, we always say, okay, is the will the threat, all right? Now, so what we do is, in our system, we always point Mike. So we will point Mike. If we don't say anything else, then we are slid for the will linebacker, okay? Now, whenever we slide for the will, the front side tackle and guard, they have what we call a squeeze. If that guy's a threat to the A-gap, that's okay. We squeeze it off and we throw hot off the end. Otherwise, okay, we know that it takes two, the will on the back side and somebody else to be hot, and it takes one on the front side to be hot. Now, once we move on to the next stage of empty, all right, once we move on to the next stage of empty, we say, okay, all right, guys, the will's not a threat. All right, this, this week's safety's deep. This will's in coverage. He's not a threat. So now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to make, if it's 74, a Rita call. If it's 75, a Linda call. And all that does is turn it into a duel to the front side. So now it takes two to the front side and one to the back side to make us throw hot, okay? So that's big there. That's just going over this before we throw the film on so you guys have somewhat of an idea of what we're doing. All right, when we get odd, all right, if, again, if we point Mike here in the odd system and we don't say anything else, then we're slid. We call this lion. Then we're slid for the jack and the will and the nose and the end, all right? Otherwise, if we think the jack and the will are not a threat, we think the threat is over here, then what we say is, okay, look, what we're going to do is, again, make a read a call, and if we make a read a call and it's an odd front, that becomes a double duel for both guards. Okay, so we duel Jack to Will, we duel Mike and Sam. Okay, so those are some looks as it relates to even and odd. All right, now, let's move in forward. Now, let's say, like I drew up on the last one, it's an odd front, but now we're getting this. We get a lot of odd in the Big Ten on third down. We get a lot of odd in the NFL. So now if we, we think we're getting something where they're – pressuring us from the field, now what we can say is, okay, again, that's Mike, it's 74 protection, all right, 74, that's Mike, and we're going to ram this. So if we ram it to the call, now we're four for four, okay, so we're picking that up, and we're throwing hot off of either the jack or the will on the back side, just giving you a little overview of what we do to pick some things up, okay, all right, now, Let's go to the next deal that's pretty interesting, because I think you have to have answers in empty. If you don't, you're going to end up throwing hot all day. Now, if we come up to the line of scrimmage and let's say it's an even front, even front, okay, and the end is walked out. You saw this a lot in the NFL, okay, the end is walked out. And now we think we're getting cap over here to the field, we think we're getting Mike Sam from the field. We can now point Mike again and make a Terry call. Terry Tally being the opposite, Terry to the right, Tally to the left. Terry turns it into a five-man slide so that we can pick up field zone pressure. Okay, that's Terry. So that's only if the end's walked away because if the end isn't walked away and we make a Terry call, we're going to get sacked if that end comes. So that's only when the will's walked away. Then the last two pictures here, guys, are important for you to understand and empty. You have to have an answer for blitz zero. 
All right, if you don't have an answer for blitz zero and empty, then you got no prayer. You shouldn't even run this protection. All right, so we have two answers at Penn State. At New England, we had about five. At Penn State, we have two. I'm going to give you the two. The two answers are if we get blitz zero, all right, we can throw a slip screen to the two-man side. To the left, it's Lisa. To the right, it's Rhonda. All right, that's one, that's one thing we can do. We kick out here. It's a look pass to the outside receiver. We pull the, uh, the onside tackle to go block, and the guard's first up, and we'll, we'll see that on tape. Or if we get down here, we can make a gap call. All right, so here's another blitz zero look. We can say if the tight end's to the right here, the tight end now would be involved in the gap. We say gap left. All right, so now the tight end is involved, and he's gapping the protection. And whoever we make the mic, let's say we make this guy the mic because we know he's in coverage on the tight end. The gap includes whoever we make the mic and the will linebacker. So it becomes a six-man gap protection, and we try to get the ball out quickly, obviously. And there's Ted calls and things we can do to release the tight end if his man, uh, if you you know, if his man who has a man-to-man -man comes after he blocks. So you have to have answers for blitz zero, but we're not going to really get into too much of the, of, the, uh, of the whole protection scheme here. When we turn to the film here, we're just going to make sure that you know you have an overview of what we're doing.